Hi guys, today we are going to be trying out a new palette from Game Beauty. And if you guys are new to my channel, maybe you haven't watched the videos that I did on the other palettes from the brand, this is a brand that really excites me because they make like game inspired palettes. I mean, hence the name Game Beauty, but I just think that this is so cool. And this is a brand that I've felt from the very beginning that has so much potential. And I'm really excited about this one in particular because I've swatched it already and I feel like the formula is better than the past two. So if you haven't seen the first two palettes that they came out with, I did get all of these sent in PR. This is the first one. This is called the Adventure Palette. These are really cool. They open kind of like the Kaleidos palettes and then you have these shadows inside and I love the packaging. It's always very well thought out. This first one does have a pressed glitter in it and I felt that with this one, this is going to be like a mini review of all of them, I guess. I felt with this one that the mattes were kind of kind of on the sheer side they're not super pigmented like yeah you can build them up but I didn't feel like they were as intense as I would like for them to be and they weren't like super easy to work with and the shimmers are a little bit just blah <laughs> they're just not all that this shimmer right here is absolutely beautiful love this one but the other ones are kind of eh, they're, they're kind of satiny and just just not that exciting for like what I like in my shimmers obviously this is all going to be you know based on my preferences which this is my channel, so that's what you're gonna get. <laughs> the second palette that they came out with is this one. This one is called the Fantasy Palette, which is really, really cool. Again, beautiful packaging, same concept, opens like this as well. This one does not have a pressed glitter, which I'm really, really happy that they listened to us. Um, I know that some people do like pressed glitters, but I think in general, more people than not don't like pressed glitters. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that is like, at least on YouTube, like the general consciousness is that most people don't really like having pressed glitters in palettes. So I, as well as a lot of other people were very excited that this one didn't have any pressed glitters. And I kind of felt the same way about this formula um, as I did with the first one. The masks just weren't like, they were just lacking a little bit of oomph. And the shimmers in this one were okay as well. This one is beautiful, the other ones, Eh, they're fine but I just I haven't been like super blown away by the formula of this brand but their packaging and their aesthetic and their ideas are like top-notch so like I said in the beginning I've been really rooting for this brand and when I got this palette and now that I have swatched it I really feel like they've taken everything into account and like actually improved their formula which makes me so excited to use this so this is the palette that we're going to use today this one is called the victory palette and it is absolutely stunning I love the artwork on it and I really like that even though I'm not really like into neutrals and stuff, like I like that they came out with a palette that's a little bit more maybe user friendly and that a lot more people are going to be able to use and not like look at and be like, what am I gonna do with this? You know, like I, I really feel like every brand needs to have like that one basic neutral-ish palette, but this one has a neutral palette with a twist. And I think that the color story in this is stunning. I really like this. I love the way the shimmer swatch. I love the way the matte swatch, the matte swatched very 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 nicely they felt a lot thicker and they just felt like they had more more pigment in them but at the same time uh it felt like a very creamy and easy to work with formula obviously i haven't tried it yet so that is what we're gonna go ahead and do but i'm just excited and i'm getting major uh subculture vibes from this palette i mean everybody knows what the subculture palette looks like but i feel like there's a lot of similarities between these two palettes let me kind of hold them up side by side here so you can see what i mean but i think you already like get the gist like I feel like there's a lot of similar tones in this and you can do a lot of similar looks but this palette excites me more just because it's a little bit more bright and vivid and this one is a little bit more like grungy and dark so yeah I am quite excited we're just gonna go straight in uh these palettes are $45 so they are on the expensive side which is why I'm really happy that they seem to be listening to feedback because I feel like their first palette wasn't really worth $45 in my humble opinion but that could just be me but I do think that if they keep listening to feedback and keep improving their palettes I think that these palettes are definitely going to be worth the money in the end. So we're going to go ahead and try it. I've actually bought a new eyeshadow primer uh, and I'm so excited because I was almost out. Of course, this is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow base that I always use in light and I love it because it just works very well for me and I feel like every shadow formula just performs very well on top of it. So we're just going to go ahead and blend this out and then we're going to see what we're going to do today. I'm going to try to use as many of the shades in the palette as I can just so we can get a good idea of what this palette is actually like but like I said I'm quite inspired by this color story I think that it is it's quite fun for being a neutral palette and I think that these kind of turquoises go very well with the warm tone oranges and browns so I think we're probably going to do something warm tone in the crease with the blue on the lid and be like a basic beauty guru but like 
I don't know, I just think it's gonna look good, okay? So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. The only, I guess, criticism I would have is I feel like these two colors are maybe a little bit too, like this one, this one, and this one, they're very similar. And I don't know if you needed all three of them in a 10 pen palette. I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have to use them on the eyes and see, but I feel like they're so similar that maybe one of them could have been replaced by something else. Don't know what that would be, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use probably this one in my crease along with, maybe I'll use three in my crease. I don't usually do that. I don't usually build three on top of each other because sometimes the more you add on, the more likely it is for the shadows to become patchy and like not work properly. But I guess I'll start with this one just so we can try it out. I use this one in my crease and this one and then probably the dark brown. So we're gonna start with a shade called Hard, wait. <laughs> Let me look at this the right way. Pug. So we're going to start with the shade Pug. <laughs> I just realized I held this palette upside down for the first half of this video. Oh well. So I'm going to take this on my refer number 14, which is a big blending brush. And I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. And so far that's going on very nice and pigmented. Not having any problems at all with that. And it's showing up very nicely on my skin, which I, I, I was kind of worried that it was going to be a little too light for me to be a transition shade but it's definitely dark enough that it's laying down a very nice base for whatever i'm going to blend into this so i'm just gonna work on putting this down and blending this out i'm gonna take some of this underneath my eye as well just so we can do the same thing on the top and the bottom and man it is so hot in here <laughs> we had to get a new ac unit installed the other day because ours went out and so now we have an app on the phone that controls the AC, which is awesome. So I can just like turn down the AC in this room from my phone. Like how great is that? I don't have to like go to the actual remote and press the buttons. I can just do it from here. I love that. Love that for me so much. So this is very, very nice. I really like how this is performing. It's going on super nicely. Next up, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This one is from What's Up Beauty. It's the R102, and I'm gonna go into the shade called GG. <laughs> this one right here, which is the orange, and I'm gonna use that to deepen up the crease with. I'm also going to use the dark brown after. So do keep in mind that I am using three colors in my crease now, which is sometimes a lot to ask for, for shadows to be built on top of each other. So I'm gonna just see how this works. This is adding a very, very, very nice orange together with that first brown that we used, or I guess it was more of a mustard, but these are playing very nicely together. I really like how this is looking. And you can absolutely do looks that don't include like, you know, both the blues or turquoises or teals, whatever whatever you want to call them. And the browns, you could definitely just do like a, a bronze look or a more neutral look because there are options to do that as well. And I really like the way that they've they've done this palette. I think that it's easy to figure out looks that you can do and there's also enough looks that you can do that you're gonna be entertained for quite some time if you're the kind of person like me who don't like to repeat looks because I get bored very easily so I need some kind of variety in my palettes just to keep things exciting and I would say that this formula is very beginner friendly it's not super pigmented like straight off the bat it does take a little bit of building up but it's building very nicely and it's really easy to work with and i don't think that you're going to use this and like have something go out of hand and not be able to fix it <gasps> very nice i like this a lot so far we're going to take the shade called tank which is the dark brown if you're wondering about my nails they are from dashing diva as always i can link them down below if you want to check them out i also have a code with game beauty i don't know if it's affiliated or not i'll have it on the screen as well as you know if it is affiliated because i don't remember uh but it will help you save i think 10 percent off which is always a good thing i like using codes as well when i buy stuff because i mean who doesn't like to save money you know and i look i know a lot of my friends have codes with the brand as well just taking this in my whole crease and using it to deepen up the look and i'm quite impressed with how this is layering i'm not having any problems at all with it getting patchy but it does take like a few dips into it to get it to be very nice and dark but that looks really nice i think this is good enough for the crease i'm gonna put down some glitter primer just because i do that with basically all shimmers and we're gonna see how these shimmers look on the lid i feel like these are gonna be really nice and i'm really going to like them so I am quite excited. Just gonna plop this all over, not gonna do a cut crease or anything like that. Just gonna put it down just to have a base for 
where I want my shimmers to go. And then with the same brush, and I'm gonna use the sticky side of my brush because it just picks up the shadow a lot better. We're gonna use, I guess we're gonna use, I don't really feel like using like any of the oranges or bronzes. I think we're just gonna use the blue. So I'm gonna start with this one. This one is called Glass Cannon and it looks so freaking beautiful. Ooh, I'm so, ex oh, look at that. I just get so excited about the shadows like this. So I'm gonna start in the middle and just drag this outwards. And when I swatch this, it's definitely more of a, like a sheer toppery kind of formula. But so far, as you can see on my eyes, it is building up to be quite nice and opaque. But I think that if you wanted to use it as more of a topper, you could absolutely do that. And if you didn't put down a glitter primer, you could get a very sheer wash of color. And I think that shades like this are super versatile and I've come to really appreciate them. I used to not really like topper shades, but the more that I work with them and the more that I use them, the more I see kind of you know, what you can do with them. And it's kind of exciting. I really like it. I really like the shade too. That is beautiful. I mean, look how sparkly and pretty that is. Ah, I really like this. <laughs> I really like this game beauty. You are doing very good this time. And it makes me so excited because I really wanted to be like super excited about this brand. And now I'm already like, I wonder what the next palette is gonna be. <laughs> because this is so good and it's so fun to work with. And then for the inner portion, of course, I'm going to use the lightest of the shades here. I'm just going to wipe off my brush to make sure I have a clean one. This one is called Loot, and we're going to... This is picking up beautifully. That looks really, really nice. I'm just going to put that... Why do I have hair on my brush? I feel like I have hair everywhere. Probably not the only one. But I'm going to put that in the front portion of my lid here. That is really pretty. That is so sparkly and so beautiful and it's gonna blend so nicely into that turquoise. I really like this. Gonna take a little bit of this as well and just sort of wrap it underneath my eye here. And I think just because I can, I'm gonna take a little bit of the, let's see, is it a bronze shade? It's more of a gold, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This one is called, it's called gold. Okay then, it's a gold. Fine, you win. I'm gonna take that on a small pencil brush here and I'm just gonna use a little bit right underneath my eye, just in between the matte and that shimmer, just to, you know, just to try it. And I also really like having shimmer in that area. And I think that this is really going to just add a little bit of an extra, 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 what am I trying to say? I don't know, just a little extra something. And I really think it's doing that. So I think this is where I'm going to leave it with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off probably do like turquoise or something in my waterline because that would be kind of fun. And then I'll come back and I will show you the look. And here's how I finished off. And I really like this look. I wanted to go for a very bold, glossy red lip and I think it was a good choice. Some people might think it's a little too much, but I don't know, I like it. So what I use for my lip is one of the uh, cream lip stains from Odenside. This one is in the shade Miss Canna. I love these. These are so beautiful. I also use a lip liner from Laura Mercier, both of which have been PR. This is in the shade Crimson. And in my waterline, I used Zulu by ColourPop because I love this eyeliner and I think it just goes very nicely with my lid color. And also for my highlighter, I used the same shade that I used in my inner corner and I feel like it works very nicely as a highlighter. So would definitely recommend trying that if you haven't already. Uh, if you haven't already, it's not like you have this palette. This palette is available for pre-order right now. It's going to start shipping beginning of August. If I'm not mistaken, I will have the date on the screen that the pre-order will start shipping, just so you know. For my blush today, I'm using the Arthurine palette from Menagerie, which will also restock pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. I saw that on her Instagram that this is going to restock soon. I used to blush down here, this is in the shade Persimmon? Is that how you say that? Pers persimmon? Persimmon. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's a fruit. That's basically it. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's talk about this palette though. Like I am so excited that they seem to have improved their formula a bit and this makes me very intrigued. Uh, is this the right way? No. <laughs> this makes me very intrigued to see what they come out with in the future. And I just, I can't wait. Like, I feel like this is a very exciting brand. And I've said in the past, if I wasn't getting sent PR from them, I would buy their palettes myself just because I feel like this is like a collector's item. Like that is one of the things I feel like is so special about this brand is that all of their palettes are just, they're just fun to collect, you know? They're fun to look at. They're just, it's its gonna be really cool to have like a, a big collection of these palettes. I love that they're all the same size and the same format. I think that 
I don't know, it kind of makes them stand out in a way, if you know what I mean. So I, yeah, I'm rooting for this brand. I think that they're doing very, very well. I think that this is a brand definitely to uh, look out for and to keep an eye on if it is something that you feel like you're interested in, if you like the theme, if you like the color stories, maybe the color stories haven't been perfect for you. Maybe you have heard some things about the brand that, you know, like the formulas isn't exactly what you would like. Just you know, keep in mind that they keep improving and eventually they're probably gonna come out with a palette that you're gonna like and maybe you're gonna love it just as much as I love their latest one. So yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you so much Game Beauty for sending over your palettes. They are beautiful and I always have so much fun uh, just playing with them and trying them out and I cannot wait to see what you come out with in the future. Thank you so much to you guys for watching as always. If you wanna see some more Game Beauty content, I guess I can make a playlist and put that up there so you can see my latest videos or my older videos. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.